Experience pure Italian goodness. The real test of Italy. Italian lifestyle, Italian design, Italian culture in London. This is the Italian Factor and I am Gabriella, your host, joining you in this journey of Made in Italy. Italian style. Quite fashionable. Very chic. Buongiorno. Italian people as being quite friendly, quite outgoing. They have a slower pace of life. Grazie, tutto bene. It is an amazing country. I think Italian food is really uh, uh, easy on the palate. Italians are definitely beautiful, oh for sure. Today we are going to talk about Italian lifestyle from physical to mental well-being, which can be summarized in one word that sounds English but actually, as we will find out, is very Italian, wellness. And wanted to talk about it, we invited Tim Benjamin. Do you know when human beings started to do fitness? Wow, I mean, well, obviously you can trace back the competitive element to the ancient Greeks um, who obviously started the Olympics, but I think fitness and wellness is, has been with us ever since we've been created. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a part of life uh, in terms of defining uh, fitness and wellness. It, it, it's everything we do when we used to hunt for food to, uh, to um, being able to lift objects out of the way, you know, that, that is all related to fitness. Imagine Fred and Ted. Fred is a primitive man. Ted is a contemporary man. The first runs or walks for almost 30 kilometers per day. Because he's nomadic, he hunts and fishes. The second runs but mostly walks for less than one kilometer per day because he has an office job, passing a grand total of five years of life behind a desk. It is precisely for this reason that Ted has to work out to stay in shape. Mind you, Ted, the modern man, hasn't invented fitness. It's old stuff. The first real trainers can be found in ancient Greece, called Pado tribes. They worked in the first modern gyms, gymnasiums, which included indoor and outdoor spaces. And today, today poor Ted can take care of your body thanks to fitness, a term used to identify the principle of good health through regular exercise, not just necessarily sporty, and a balanced diet. It's no coincidence that the physical form of Italians is among the best in the world. On the one hand, we have the Mediterranean diet, balanced and mainly comprised by natural foods, the other we have the climate, which promotes outdoor physical activity. It's good to be Italian. But everything evolves. Right, Fred? Right, Ted? And fitness has evolved into wellness, of which one of the leading world experts is an Italian, Nerio Alexandri, founder of Technogym, a leading Italian company in the sector. Il wellness di Technogym è uno stile di vita. Uno stile di vita nato duemila anni fa, all'epoca romana, del mensana in corpore sano. Il wellness è la combinazione fra una regolare attività fisica, una sana alimentazione e soprattutto un approccio positivo alla vita. Tim, a tricky question. If you had to describe Italians, what would you say? I think the, what, what comes to mind is, is passion definitely. Um, also innovation, what I really like about uh, Italians, not only in terms of their lifestyle, but also their, their design and their, their ability to be so creative, um, which is something that I, I really love about Italians and I love uh, my time spending in Italy and observing those, those types of things. In today's episode, we will be talking about well-being, both physical and psychological. They say that Italians pay particular attention to their physical fitness with good results. We are, in effect, one of the populations with the lowest obesity rates. What do you think about this? Yeah, I mean, it, it's fantastic. I mean, whenever I have been in Italy, you definitely see a very active lifestyle and it's, it, it is a, a way of life. I also think the nutritional side of, of Italian food and, and how that lends itself to a healthier lifestyle as well. 
Needless to say that everyone has its own definition of wellness and their personal approach to the physical activity. We have asked to Ivan Berry, our correspondent in London City, to ask some questions in the gym. Gemma, can I interrupt your, uh, your go on the skill mill? Is this some... Um, <laughs> firstly, you're, you're already out of breath. Yeah. That's so bad, isn't it? You're, I mean, your arms are the size of my head. <laughs> oh, thanks, like, I mean, they're, they're ridiculous. Can we just, can we just get a, a little flex to get? I mean, look, look at, uh, uh, same, get just this one. Do with that. Yeah. Oh. How much? How much are you lifting here? Uh, I think it's roughly around 120 kilos. 120 kilos. I mean, that's that's just that's just too much. Tom, how are you? Good to see you, Ivan. Thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, first up, tell us why fitness is so important. Well, ultimately, we, we need to keep ourselves healthy. Mm. And uh, in terms of the body's ability to move around, um, function for your brain, your heart and your lungs, fitness is high up on that, on that level and that scale. So it's, it's good for the mind and physicality? Absolutely. Okay, so describe to us um, a, a healthy lifestyle, like the perfect healthy lifestyle for the average person. We should be walking, we should be jogging, uh, we should be sprinting. We should be lifting something heavy every once in a while. Right. And uh, that will be, from a physical standpoint, that will be ideal. Okay. And then we can get into things like diet and nutrition and sleep and social as well, which is our idea of wellness. Uh, and why would you say the Italians are so, uh, so good with their, their fitness and their wellness and, and this incredible equipment they've created? Well, for, from the equipment side of things, I mean, Italians are known for their style, aren't they? I mean, they are indeed, yeah. Look at the kit. I mean, it, it always looks slick it always it is a, it is really a sexy machine like i said it's intimidating but it's a sexy machine isn't it but but i think i'm not the only one that would say this but i find the gyms intimidating like the gym environment i think that there are a lot of people who feel that way um i mean the beauty of using a machine is it can teach you movement in a very safe and controlled manner right so if the, if i asked you to, to sit on this and pull i mean this is an exercise this is a pulling movement now you do a pulling movement every time you go to open a door so your body right. knows how to do a pulling movement however so if this we this is an extreme looking door this is a heavy door this is a big door this is a big door so what we would do okay. is in this in this in this instance so I, we take the weights off yeah uh, so you, you're only pulling a light door, okay? Okay. And we teach you the movement. Right. And then through repetition, you would gradually learn the movement. Right. You'd get better motor control as well. And then we could start to add a little bit more weight so that you're starting to challenge your muscles a little bit more. Right. It's totally up to the individual. So we have an idea about functional fitness. So mm. the idea of um, being fit for your function. So a fireman would need to be able to carry people because that's his function. Uh, a mother would be able to would need to be able to pick their baby up, mm. uh, place them back down, carry them around the house. Okay. Potentially go go to the supermarket and do grocery shopping. Um, you know, even if you're an elderly person, you still need the ability to make a cup of tea, cook dinner for yourself, sit down, stand up. So everyone's right. function is slightly different. So the ter the word heavy would be relative to that individual. So as a <laughs> as a presenter, yeah. Uh, what would my function be? Do you think? We well, um, need to look great on camera, right? Just look good on camera, that's fine. So picking up hairspray? Are Absolutely. We yeah, that's Totally, sort of yeah. All right, I think I can just about do that. I think I've, <laughs> I've mastered that. Keeping fit is not only a matter of gym exercise, it's mostly a matter of lifestyle. Team, what are your habits? Yeah, well, I was an athlete, um, <laughs> and uh, now, uh, obviously, I'm, uh, I'm a business owner now, and I, I have a regular lifestyle, but what I, what I took from my time as an athlete into now, and the, the habits that I still kind of um, have, I suppose, uh, now, now that I'm leading a more regular lifestyle, is goal setting. So I think that's the, the, the biggest thing for me, is constantly re-evaluating where you want to go, and changing your exercise program, or your wellness program, in line with that. So whatever that goal may be, whether it's a weight goal, an exercise goal, a time-related yeah, goal. Got to have a goal. Got to have a goal and got to know what you're working towards. And you constantly got to reevaluate those goals and set new ones. And what is your relationship with the gym and what program do you follow in your training? Well, I'm a gym owner, first and foremost. I'm a franchisor. So um, obviously I'm in gyms all the time. So it's a very kind of, uh, uh, I guess, um, uh, comfortable environment for me to be in. Uh, but I, I try to pull myself out and challenge myself a little bit. So my training program really, I, as I said, I try to keep it as varied as I can. I'm outside the Techno Gym UK headquarters where I'm about to learn about and personally test some of the most innovative products in the wellness sector. 
I've got to be honest, when they first asked me to uh, present a TV programme on Italian products, I thought I was going to be trying on the best tailored suits, drinking the finest wines, eating the best foods. Instead, they've got me in a gym working on muscles I don't have and getting a sweat on. So, this is Kinesis. Right. Now, you look at something like Kinesis and people think, oh, there's so much you can do with it. Yeah. Where do we start? Kinesis is a closed loop cable which enables us to do any type of movement under a consistency of force. Okay. So straightforwardly thinking, basically, I can grab hold of a handle and I can rotate with it. So handle in both hands. Like that. Yep, perfect. Let's have arm straight up to shoulder height. All I want you to do is rotate nice and slowly each side and just stop in the middle for me. Yeah, so just stop and come back the other way. Good. Okay. I'll just come up a bit. There you go. Nice. Don't forget to smile. You're enjoying it. Yeah, good. Okay, so this time what I'm going to do is still holding it with both hands. Yep. I just want you to, as you rotate, touch my hand. Oh, your feet do move. Excellent. That's good. I didn't know if I was allowed to. So which was the better one? The first one or the second one? Do 100% the second one. So yeah. the second one then, who was in charge? You or me? You, I guess, or both of us. Ah, there you go. Because yeah. my instruction to you was, touch my hand. Yeah. So what you did, but I didn't say how fast you had to do that. Your natural instinct is to try and get there quickly. I didn't move until you touched my hand. So what I'm doing now is I'm facilitating your experience. Right. Whereas before, I was training you in exercise. Right. Okay, so let's have a look at the Vario. Okay. Um, this is part of the artist range. Right. So the idea is you can do three different types of exercise. You can run, you can walk, or you can step. So okay. this obviously is a unity platform. Right. So this gives us all our engagement. As you can see, you've got the effort levels, yep. you've got the speed you're moving at, yep. you've also got time, calories, distance, and in the middle here, you've got moves. Okay. Now, move is Technogym's way of measuring activity. Okay. This, this doesn't come naturally to me. Moving? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. There we go. Keep the arms straight. Good. Go on then. Go on, go on, oh, keep, no, going, keep like going, keep going, keep going, keep going, I'm straight, oh, I'm straight, I'm straight. Not. Oh, you really feel that burn? Yeah, now suddenly you've done three minutes. Wow, and burned 25 and calories. And 25 calories. Yeah. You've nearly got half an apple. That sounds good. Yeah. That sounds good. Trente tre, Trentini, and Tratrono in Trento, tutti e trente tre, trotterellando. Now it's your turn. Trente tare, Trentini. Oh, Trentar tre Trentini intra Trono in Trento. Trentate Trentini intra Trotolino do or something or other. I can't make it out. Tutti e Tintra Tatre. Trotte Talando. In Trono in Trento. Trentera. Ten Trenta Terry. Trenta tre Trentini entraron in Trento. Tutti e Trenta tre Trotterellan. Tutti Trot. Terrellindo. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. Experience pure Italian goodness. The real test of Italy. Experience pure Italian goodness. The real test of Italy. Italian lifestyle, Italian design, Italian culture in London. This is the Italian Factor, and I am Gabriella, your host, joining you in this journey of Made in Italy. Italian style. Quite fashionable. Very chic. Buongiorno. Italian people as being quite friendly, quite outgoing. They have a slower pace of life. Grazie, tutto bene. It is an amazing country. I think Italian food is really uh, uh, easy on the palate. Italians are definitely beautiful. Oh, for sure. Looks like a treadmill. Well, I can see where you're coming from yeah. with that, if I'm totally honest. Um, not naturally to look at it, that's what you'd think. Yeah. It's called a skill mill. 
Right. right. The idea is that we can work on different modalities of training with it. So four different modalities, or four main modalities. Mm. We've got speed, stamina, skill and power. With, little, with no resistance on, I just want you to start walking. A good stride? Big good stride. stride. All right, good okay. stride. The longer your stride, the faster that's going to move. So, but the thing is, this is where we look at to start with. This is stamina. Right. You might do this for two, three, four minutes. I feel like I'm walking like a duck a bit now. So now just try and take it into a, into a steady jo jog. Looking up, looking up, looking up, looking up. Good. Keep looking up. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay, just bring it down to a nice steady walk. Looking up. Come on. Look up, look up, look up, so we can see the pain. <laughs> going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, another five. Come on, another five. five. Four. Yeah, quicker. Three. Oh, be come eight. on. Two. Can't get the legs higher. One. Two. Good. Oh my god. This is a horrible, horrible, but I'm sure brilliant and fantastic piece of equipment. That's killed me. But what this does is it gives you the ability to train in different ways for different types of people. Right. Yeah. So it's not about saying you have to do everything. It's about how we start to structure programming that is relevant to that person. Grant, thank you very much it's for today. It's a pleasure. You've been brilliant. You've definitely got me a lot more interested in the gym and working out. Uh, but I think now I'm going to get some water. Okay, water. Men sana in corpore sano, said the ancient Romans. We have Tim Benjamin. Hi. Tim Benjamin is a British athlete at the mm -hmm. highest level. And I would like to ask you, what are the golden rules for well-being, for wellness? I think the golden rule for me would be, uh, that, that really springs to mind, to be enjoyment. I think wellness encompasses so many different factors, both physical, mental and emotional. Uh, and, and, and many further kind of uh, facets, I suppose, in, in terms of the, the physical uh, side of things, balance, coordination, aerobic capacity, lots of different things. But you have to enjoy what you do. And I think uh, the sustainable approach to leading a, a, a wellness lifestyle um, has to be enjoyment. Tom, should uh, people expect to see results quickly? Yeah, I think so. Um, you Generally, if you're new to exercise, uh, so you haven't done that much of it in the past, and you, you start to go running, you start to move around a little bit more, maybe you go to spin class, um, maybe lift weights for the first time, you should notice within four to six weeks some changes happening in your body. Right. Are the uh, weighing scales the most effective way of measuring how uh, your, your training is going? Probably not. Um, okay. Often, if you start lifting weights for the first time, you are going to build some muscle mass. So mm. it's very difficult to tell if you are actually um, losing, losing fat just through weighing scales. Body composition testing is becoming far more popular nowadays. And if you go to um, a gym like this, there's, there will nine times out of ten be the ability to measure your body composition test. Give you an opportunity to understand more about your body. Um, is exercise still effective if it's not painful? If you're not feeling the burn, is it still working as well? Definitely. I think um, sort of feel the burn in inverted commas is a bit of a myth. Yes, it's fun, especially if you're young and you know, you're, you're, you're fit and healthy and you're able to, mm. to push yourself to those extremes. But I think a lot of people get put off by, by thinking they have to be in pain when they work out. You don't really want to be in pain when you work out. Um, it, it's a little bit of a, a myth in the fitness industry. Yeah. Uh, is it true that you shouldn't be standing still, that you should uh, be walking around and continuing to breathe? Is that true? I'm a huge fan of always always standing up and always walking around. I think yeah. if you lie in a ball on the floor or if you sit down with your head in your hands, I mm. don't think it sends a very good message to, to the body. I think mentally it's always good to stand up and walk around and almost pretend that you're not in pain. <laughs> that it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you can, you can learn a lot from from the mindset of people, yeah. uh, especially you look at a lot of elite level athletes, if, if they've just finished a race and they've given everything, they might crumble on the floor. But if you look at someone like Usain Bolt, I mean, just like, he just carries on walking, acting as if nothing's jobbing. wrong. Yeah, so yeah. I think for, for some people it's better to just, even if it's an act, it doesn't yeah. matter. I think it sends really good messages to the body and the mind. Excellent. So there we go, Gabriella. Some truths and myths solved by Tom from Techno Gym. Tom, thank you so much for today. You've been absolutely brilliant. Very welcome, mate. Tim, we are coming to the end of the, the episodes and uh, uh, I would like to return to the point about Italian excellence. In what do you see the Italian identity of Techno Gym? What is the Italian factor of Techno Gym? 
two key elements. For me, innovation and design. Uh, the design is just second to none. It fits with our brand very, very well. And the innovation, they're consistently bringing out new products. And it's something as an operator, we like to be able to reward our members with. For me, uh, in, the, in the traditional gym environment, when things become stagnated, you have what's called a nutrition problem. People leave. But when you're constantly updating your equipment and the ability to be able to do a plethora of different exercises on those equipment and monitor and record and be so innovative, I think that's what Technogym do very, very well. So innovation and design. Thanks, Tim. And now, to gain more insight into the reality of technology, we have directly asked the founder, Nerio Alessandri. L'Italia si contraddistingue per una sua unicità, diciamo, che è quella appunto della qualità della vita. La qualità della vita italiana è riconosciuta in tutto il mondo come il vero Made in Italy e il wellness è, diciamo, la rappresentazione del benessere e della qualità della vita. La Romagna è la California dell'Europa e Tecnogym è proprio nella culla della California dell'Europa, che è la Wellness Valley. La combinazione fra la qualità della vita, le competenze sui fornitori, sulla ricerca e sviluppo, le università che abbiamo qui sul territorio, sono tutte diciamo, orientate al wellness, al fitness, alla qualità della vita. La Tecnogym ha nel suo DNA il vero Made in Italy, che è rendere emozionale il brand attraverso il design, l'Italian design dei prodotti, attraverso l'innovazione della tecnologia, attraverso quel concetto di unico e irresistibile. Quindi Tecnogym è un rappresentante di questo stile italiano che non è solo fatto dal design inteso come fashion, ma anche come alimentazione, turismo, eh, tecnologie per la salute. Quindi l'Italia è la vera grande Wellness Valley e l'Italia è sicuramente il produttore di benessere più importante al mondo, grazie all'arte, alla cultura, allo stile, al design e alla tecnologia. And remember, if you don't know what makes something special, it's the Italian factor. Trentetre, Trentini and Tratrono in Trento, tutti e Trentetre, Trotterellando. Now it's your turn. Trentetare, Trentini. Trentar, tre, Trentini in Tratrono in Trento. Trentate, Trentini in tra... Trottolino do or something or other. I can't make it out. Tutti e Trentatre. Trottolando. In Trono, in Trento. Trentera, ten Trento Terry. <laughs> Trentatre Trentini, entraron in Trento, tutti e Trentatre Trotterellan. Tutti Trot Terrellindo. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. Experience pure Italian goodness, the real test of Italy.